Well, I lost my job, ain't got a dime. I need a shave and I need a shine. I'm all hung over, got a mouth full of cotton. Yes, I've arrived. This must be the bottom. If this is a bottom, well, okay, I figured I'd make it someday. I had my hopes, but she sure shot on. I guess I've arrived. This must be the bottom. I do 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 do. I do 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 do. I do 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 do. I'm an honorary member of Skid Row. Well, I smoke old butts and I beg my dough. If you need any troubles, the boys have got 'em. Yes, I've arrived. This must be the bottom. Which is 6:57. If this gotcha. is the bottom, well, okay, I figured I'd make it someday. I had high hopes, but she sure shot 'em. I guess I've arrived. This must be the bottom. I do 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 do. Oh, this must be the bottom. The only way I see it, and everyone looks squirrely down here. Anybody got a dime for a cup of coffee? Who'd you believe in all this here? Oh, I hear the salvation army band coming, and they're coming after me. Oh, me! It's my turn. That was a close one. Oh. 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 That was almost a close one there. Made it just in time. By a little. Oh, let's get to it. The following program is rated TV MAL. It contains strong language and is intended only for mature audiences. Viewer discretion advised. Winter finally fucking got rid of his death grip on this poor little state, and I can go out and work on my heaps again. Getting back to work on this old cripple. The transmission shit the bed. Third gear isn't existent. I can only go up to second gear now, and the reason being is. Exactly. Finally caught up to it. This guy ain't invincible. Hades ain't, you know, made out of stone. So, even a TH400 has its fucking limits. So I gotta swap that out, because I'm bold enough to try to drag this black fat ass down the road to the Street Machine Nationals in July. 
one of the biggest car shows in the state next to the back to the 50s, which obviously this car doesn't qualify. Too new. But if you got a car with a motor that goes vroom, they'll, they'll let you in at the Street Machine Nationals. So I got a couple of months to make the make it happen. You know, I could do a rebuild, but I'd rather take my chances with a used one. I know you ain't exactly got money falling out of your asshole. If you did, you wouldn't be here. Like the man said, I don't have money falling my asshole, so I'll justify using a used one. No, you're not looking at my car. That's a Buick. Same shade of red, just slightly nicer. You couldn't tell I'm at the salvage yard. Occasionally get some nice stuff in. I don't know if this is someone's car or if someone just bought it or I just pulled in here like 10 minutes ago. So I'm not going to go inside it, but I will, you know, eye hump it. You're Montana. I don't think they salt the roads out there. She's nice. I drive it. A Buick's been one of the cars that's been on my bucket list. I always wanted to have a Buick. Usually these came with 403s or 301 Pontiacs. You occasionally get the Buick 350 or a 403, sometimes a Buick V6. This is a LeSabre, not an Electra. Fucking nice. This thing is tits. Damn right I'd take this to the grocery store. Just got here and I'm already impressed. All right. Let's get to the transmission. Well, here's the big reveal. Me and two other guys loaded it on. I honestly thought this would be over there, and this would be over there for it to fit better, but it closes just the same. And it works, they said, and I got a 90-day warranty, so... I'll degrease the fuck out of it. Do that much, at least. It's dry, so it's not going to leak out anywhere. Oh, yeah. Uh, but the day's coming to an end. Running out of battery life on the camera. It's time to hit the road. Oh, man, that would be a good compliment for my car. I had to park next one more time. Nice thing about GM, you know your siblings are related just because they made them look the fucking same. Oh well, hopefully it goes to a good home. I know this trunk, I know this fucking thing's going to. All the things I'll do to it. Well that's about as clean as I can get it. Under the circumstances is a lot better off. Looks a lot better. And now the tedious, boring ass fucking shit. Car's just a fucking rolling part shed. Everything's in the way, so I gotta get all that straightened out. I'll get back to you when I get that done. I'm gonna basically do what I did in the back. There's a frame, cross frame that goes around the oil pan, so 
just basically do what I did the rear to the front. You know, I kind of go and ass to mouth. Bex, do you ever go ass to mouth? You never go ass to mouth. You've never gone ass to mouth. You never go ass to mouth. I've never gone ass to mouth. Just as dirty. I should have my overalls or coveralls or something up, something, something today, but who fucking cares? I'm dirty, this car is dirty. Ethiopia is dirty. Such is life. Underneath the car, we're gonna start uh, doing things. But this would basically all come out if you just pull the shaft out. So I gotta do this dry and put the pan back on. And we'll take the drive shaft out after that. So, series of uh, steps and whatnot got to be taken to do this right. That was fun. I'm gonna move the catch can or the drain pan underneath the tail end of the tranny. Just in case. And I just slide that out of the way. Dripped a little, not as much as I thought it would. I got the cross member bolts out, so all well, three of them broke. One survived, so I can use that. That's reference to go to the parts store and get some uh, grade eight bolt replacements. Right about there. Yeah, nicked my glove a little bit. I'm all right. My thumb ain't doing what that thing's doing. Now we're ready to do the torque converter bolts. It's just three of them. I believe they take a 916 socket. Six sided would be the best. Now when you take the drive shaft out, this will spin because these are on pretty tight. However, a little tip for you. Take another same size socket and just put it right on the first bolt. Don't chalk this basically so it won't move. And give you all the torque you need to undo that. So we'll do that one. And now it uh, basically locked uh, everything in place. Let's do the bell housing bolts next. It's gonna be a little bit more trickier. All right, let's knock these two ones out. Already cracked them loose, so let's just undo them all.
Got rust all over me, but that's clear. Last thing to do now is the bell housing bolts. Now, before you do the bell housing bolts, you gotta put it a, a jack underneath the oil pan because the motor will lean back a few inches and tilt backwards. So, I wanna keep everything straight. Should be all of them now. Moment of truth. Let's drop this bitch. Do you believe I'm saving myself hundreds of dollars doing this? Not against someone doing all the hard work, but I don't mind doing it myself. Think she's all the way down. I tilt this bitch out. There. That's all she wrote. Let's get this thing up in place now. We're on the home stretch. Pretty soon this thing will be eating the road once more with a better transmission.
And then I'm going to drop this pan and see what it looks like on the inside. Because I got the transmission jack. You can just uh, do it all. I can do them all at the same time. The bolts and this will just stay in place and rest it down easy. All the bolts have been removed. Let's drop this pan and see what it looks like and how dirty it could be. Now we're at the filter part. Not sure if everyone knows this. Sometimes putting the filter back on can be kind of tricky, so this just removes. And what you can do is just uh, jam it in as it lays flat. That's what I'm talking about. I don't know, the O-ring kind of makes it a little hard to push it in when it's like already up in the transmission. But if you take it out, you keep, uh, the, leverage on, the leverage is on your side now. And it's easier to push it in this way. You got a little you know, intake hole right there. And you got these uh you know side side markers that glides along the side of the transmission. There we go. Put the bolt in there. Put the pan back on. Worry about the gasket next. Pretty simple. I'm just going to let that sit as is for a day, you know, while it's face to face with the transmission. You don't want to squish it too high or too tight, or else this will spread out all the way. You don't want much of a gasket left. Uh, this is pretty good. And all the holes are lined up. I'm just going to gently firm it up to the transmission, let it sit for a day, and then torque it down evenly. Well, I got the car outside of the garage. Everything's all done. Let's see if my handiwork pays off. So I know exactly how this motherfucker ran before. Let's see if there's any difference. Park. And yeah, we got reverse. Neutral. Drive. Second. Low. Second, third, neutral. Now let's do this. Excuse the rattling, there's a fucking rolling junkyard inside this car right now. I got rims in the back seat. Just gotta drive this up and down the block. I have no fucking insurance, no tabs, not a single fucking thing. I could put a cop's kid through college with this car. All right. I'm in a good position, waiting for a traffic to clear. Let's fucking gun it. Three, motherfucker. Fuck yeah. That's what I'm talking about. No fucking cops yet. I don't even have a fucking liquor bottle to celebrate with. 
Oh yeah, I got more of the fucking list of citations. First gear. That's how I, that's, that's how it should work. Well, I'm gonna hightail a fucking home, avoid the cops, and clean up the mess. And that's it for this fucking montage. Until the next video I do of this heat, I'll catch you guys later.